with us for Carl. Well, Carl, how does it feel to be back, back out there and running around and doing everything? Great. Couldn't be happier. Does the knee feel okay? Yes, very well. Yeah. How much for you did it help to be able to get back some at the end of last year just to kind of get some of the rust off before the spring? Not so much because I mean I'm not, I wasn't actually hitting. Today was was it was, it was great because I, I get a chance to you know feel that again and it felt weird but you know just gotta get back used to it. How long are you gonna be uh, wearing the brace? Do you know? Not exactly, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna wear it during the season. I'm not probably, most pretty much sure I'm not gonna wear it during the season. Is it there now just for precaution or do you feel like you need to have it right now? Precaution. They tell me I need to wear it and you know trust the doctor. Whenever they say I can take it off, I can take it off. You looking forward to playing that buck position and as much chance to do Oh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. What do you think you're capable of, you know, standing up and moving around and doing some different stuff we haven't seen before? I'm capable of because we stood up and, and Coach Johnson's defense when he was here, but, I mean, we didn't, we didn't move around that much. But this game is, is, I feel like, perfect for me because it's, it's quick, short burst and, you know, you know hitting gaps and, Everything it's just like I don't have to read and react. I just you know, go. So. What What's the biggest difference with Muschamp as a coordinator? You know, um, you fight for a job every day. You know, you gotta go hard every day, and um, I, I love that about it because you can be you can start from the bottom and take somebody else's spot. It's the guy who wants it. It's the guy who's gonna start. That's it. That doesn't give everybody on the team an team edge. I don't know what else to do. How tough was to sit out last year? It was really tough, but you know, everybody goes through adversity. It was probably it was it was the hardest thing I ever had to do. Uh, it still, it still hurts to the day, but you know, I can't can't do anything about it. You know, only thing I do is look forward. Was it even harder because they had, they they struggled so to do what you could do with aggressive passing? Well, it was really hard because last spring I felt myself starting to get a lot better. Like, like starting to raise my, my level of play each and every day. And then, you know, having to sit out and having to have somebody come in and, you know, and get replaced. It, it, it really sucks. And then watching everybody go struggle through that throughout the season, it, that hurt too. That I couldn't be out there with my, with my brothers. I couldn't, I couldn't play with them. So you know, I had to sit from the sideline and just be chilling. Oops, it hurts. What did you What did you learn from sitting out? We talked to guys before, and they said sitting back taught them something they didn't know. What 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 did it teach you having to sit out? Oh, um, a lot of stuff. Just from just how to play the game and how to do like certain things that I did wrong. Like I learned a lot from just watching Devontae Lambert, even though he had different playing styles. I, I learned a lot just you know just from the, the watching the, some of the freshmen the DNs around the country that. That, that played real well. Like, I just got to sat back and learn and watch the game and see how just I, how much easier I can make it because I just picked up on little nuances of uh, how to get myself better. And I'm, I'm implementing that in my game right now. So it was just it was it was, it was I learned a lot. Colonel, at your at your best in 2013, how does your burst then compare to your burst now after knee surgery? You feel like you got can you get faster? I mean, do, how do yeah, you I've I've gotten. I, I tested in my 10 yard split fashion I ever have. Uh, then when I was when I was healthy, I did like a one five seven in the spring. And, you know, so I, I never did. That. I didn't even do that when I was when I was healthy. So I'm, I'm gonna get faster and stronger. What's you mentioned Devonte? What's Devonte do that just kind of stuck out to you? It was uh, one thing that he did that it, it really opened my eyes. It was just like um, I don't know if you know like what an inside move is on. A, pass rush, it was just little things like uh, me, like when I try to do an inside move my freshman year or even in a, even a, in spring ball, when I would step underneath myself and then like it kind of opened eyes for me. I watched, it was, he had one play, I guess, Ole Miss, it was like, uh, remember play number 56 or something in the, in the game, you know, you just got to make sure you sell that step vertical and then it's easy to come back inside. And, you know, do an inside rush. So that just little stuff like that. Just, I was like, wow. Like, you know, when I get back out there, I gotta try that, and it, it works. So you know, just stuff like that. Just little football stuff that I can pick up. On. This, this is kind of a weird question, but is that kind of how your mind works? You kind of see like snapshots of 
certain plays and things and what you can take away from it? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what you got to be to do, good, be a good football player. We've heard a lot about Dante Davis, Russell, and maybe people present him to step in and play really well here. What are your expectations for him this fall? I expect him and everybody else to pick it up because we know we got a chip on our shoulder. And, you know, if we don't, and if we coach must have here, if we don't do well, it's our fault. Was there ever a time last season where you thought, I'm going to push it and try and get back out there? Was there ever a thought of that? Um, push it per se, no, I was going to listen to my doctors, but I mean, I go hard in everything that I do, especially in my rehab, so I mean, I was pushing it, but there was nothing that I said, like, oh, I need to get back out there while I'm hurt. I was, I was, try I was doing as much as I can until I was healthy. What do you, what, what do you weigh right now? 260. 260. Coach Mushy, talked about you and texting him questions and coming in to watch film. And it, that part of the game, the, the film watching all that stuff, how important is that for you to take your game to the next level? Uh, it's very important because, you know, you um, – most of the guys who do make plays, they don't they don't have a lot of wasted energy trying to figure out what what's happening. So you gotta watch film and you gotta especially since we have a new defense, I gotta learn what to do. So I, anytime he's available, I need I need to ask him questions. And especially with Coach G and Coach Thompson, I need to ask some questions. Do you watch film with like his previous guys, Coach Muschamp's previous guys to see? Yeah, how I they watched, play. Yeah, I watch I watch film of uh, Dante Fowler Jr. I you feel like you compare pretty well? I mean, you guys are practically the same height and the same weight. Uh, I, I I feel like we have we're similar, but we do have different styles of play. You you, meant, you you kind of just went through the thing with Devontae. So what's the thing with Dante Fowler that kind of makes him a little bit different? Dante Fowler is a he's very quick, very explosive. He's, he's very <coughs> fluid, but then, then again, he has a lot of wasted energy in his moves. And uh, but he's 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 light and quick. He's lightning and quick, but he, he's always hustling to the ball, and you know, he's got a real long stride. And he's, but he's very he's very fluid. Uh, you know, he can he, he can bend bend and move a lot. Are there any other defensive ends that you have watched a lot of? Oh yeah, I like the the, the guy at Texas A&M. He has this one inside move that's just that's killing everybody. Uh, Miles Garrett. I watched him when he played us. He's he, you know he's he's a real good pass rusher. I like um. Who else I like? I like the guy in Tennessee, not the freshman, the other guy named Kirk Majit. I like watching him. Who else I like? I don't know, those two, those are really, him, him and Kirk Majit are really ones that like impress me. I, I like watching them too. And you just kind of try to take like a little bit from everybody and... Yeah, so, you know, you can't take everything from everybody because you're not the same body type as everyone, but the same, you know, certain things that you know you can do and you can put in your game and, and yeah. Was, was there a play, you, you mentioned you thought last year in the spring you felt like you got a lot better. Was there a specific way you'd gotten better or a lot? Just not being, uh, not being fidgety, just knowing what's going on, just being calm. You know? just, just knowing where, what's happening around you and um, just not going out there, just, just wild. You know, I, I know what I was doing and I could control my body, which you know, caused less wasted motion and I, I was never tired. Can I go back to the earlier question? Is it, did you remember more like specific plays, or do you remember like games in full? Like you can say well, that's play number eighty-seven, or that play certain, number certain certain games, yes. But like, but that's because what we we as a team watch so much film. Yeah, but like, not not all the time. But like, if it's if I say, if it's something that sticks out to me, then yeah, I, I you know I just I have it and I record it on my phone and keep it. Did you feel like that's something last year that you got even better just because I mean, since you weren't out there, you really seemed to watch everybody to kind of get caught in the game? I feel like I got better, but at the same time, I still need to get back to football because today was my first day hit. So, I, you know, you can do all that, but you still need to go out there and, you know, produce with it. How far in advance do you know each day when you're in practice? Other than you have to meet with the doctors each day and they're like, okay, you can go today. Because I said they said they're going to kind of limit you some of the spring. So I didn't no, know. I mean, um, I go. 100% until they tell me, to, until my coach tells me to come out. Or there's nothing that's set plan. I go, oh, this day you're going to do this, this day you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going until they, you know, until they tell me to sit down and rest. Do you have any, uh, sorry, uh, do you have any goals in mind for this season? Sacks, TFLs, anything like that? 
Yes, but uh, the main goal is just to get better. You know, that's how my team went. Carl, have any of the younger guys, or less experienced guys, shown you anything the first three days? Have shown you a lot of improvement? Yeah, Rasheed. Rasheed's, you know, I, I mean, even when he got here as a freshman, you know, he was, he's really freaky. You know, long, ridiculous and long, covered ground, can bend the edge. You know. So, I mean, he pushes me every day to get better. And I see that from him. And it just it makes me want to go hard because he's, he's good at his own right. I mean, everybody who's here is good. You know, just certain guys separate themselves from with technique and just, you know, being smarter about the game. But Rasheed, Rasheed always stands out to me. He's so fluid. Good. Are the